Low Reputation Growl Wedge, a battle report. Now you've seen my previous video about this vehicle, where I blather on about the ins and outs of it whilst in the garage. This video, we take it into battle, see how it does. Now I understand today is Labor Day in the USA. So I expect I'll be meeting and beating a bunch of filthy, no good, tax avoiding colonials. Hello USA! Now one thing this vehicle has that a lot of people won't put in is a radar detector. But it, ha it has benefits, but it has quite draw big drawbacks. He says, looking, following <laughs> Duskineer who looks like he's got a radar detector on the end of his vehicle. Anyway, it has its drawbacks. It's heavy, it's got a high power score, and uh, it demands an energy point, but if you it, it, it's radar and it goes round corners. So if you move forward and then hide behind some hard cover so you don't get shot immediately, it shows you and it's got a good range on it. The, the advanced one has got more range, but look at that. You can see pretty much two, four, six, eight. You can see all of the enemy team and. What's more, I'm telling everyone else. I'm not being burned. I'm telling everyone else in my team where they are. Well, within radio range, because it's got radio built in. It's great. It, the, I've given, or well, me and Duskaneer, have given our team an advantage of knowing where most of the enemy are. Oh, here comes the customer. Maybe I should start shooting. Yeah, let's start shooting. No, you're not going invisible today, matey. Oh, I've got a close customer. He's got the oh, one. Shotgun versus uh, the green grenade launcher, I forget what they're called. Drive away. Oh, sorry, I'll show him as well. But I took out his grenade launchers and didn't die. That's not bad. Whose fire is this? Is it our fire? Oh, thank you. Is it our fire or their fire? Uh, let's go gang up on Dark Zorg. And now, uh, one last guy. And it's a racy chasey. Someone got him. Hooray, you win! I don't think I did so good. Well, I did, uh, I did some. But, the important thing I had to take from this video is I showed everyone where the enemy was, which is important. Helps you win. Gives you an advantage. Now one of the risks when using a wedge is that instead of lifting someone and then rolling them over so they end up lying on their roof like a turtle on, this, on its back in the sun, totally vulnerable to anyone who cares to come along and shoot them, instead of that happening they end up sitting on top of your roof. You've managed to lift them but you haven't managed to roll them over. And it's not as bad as it first sounds because their their uh, guns are going to be pointing up into the air and not able to do anything effective. You just sit underneath them, shoot into their undersides until they're dead. Easy win, easy kill, right? Yes, but if you're sitting underneath someone and wedge them up against a wall or something, you're not going very far. You're not moving very fast. You're a sitting duck for any of his allies who can't happen to come along. So try and make sure you either pick you pick out one person on their own and you've got help to finish them off and to see off any opposition. Now Flash Directs here looks like an ideal victim. He's on his own. He's got a high front, so I mean easily lifted him, and now he's stuck. He's wiggling to try and get off, but I'm not letting him. And his guns are pointing in the air, I'm shooting from his underside, he can't do anything. Unfortunately, all my allies either died or ran off. No, no, I thought I had plenty of them with me and I'll, I'll be okay. He killed... well, his allies killed me. I think I killed him. Let's call that a score draw, shall we? Now, another risk when you're using your wedge to lift people is that, as before, you manage to lift them but you don't manage to roll them off. So they're stuck on top of you, but this time they have no allies to help them. 
they are at your mercy. The game is up. And they decide they've got nothing left to lose, but the vehicle, so they hit the self-destruct button. When that happens, the, there's a red glow in the cabin to indicate that they're self-destructing, but so it doesn't, you don't get much warning. And sometimes, because of camera angles, it's not very easy to see. So let's have another try at lifting this guy. First attempt at the work tool. But this time, uh -huh, I've lifted him. I've wedged him. He's at my mercy. He's got he's stuck. He's got three working guns, but they're not doing anything. Kablooey. Didn't even see the red glow. Oh. Now, for someone blowing up on my roof, this wasn't too bad. Often, if you've suffered damage before, they, go, they blow up, then you're dead. You run out, you run out of durability, and everything's gone. And usually, but usually when someone blows up on my roof, the front two tyres go, and all the, the ploughs and the wedgy stuff at the front, that's all gone. So you're just left with two non-steering wheels and two shotguns at the back. Here's the textbook way to drive this vehicle. Identify, lift him, he comes, and lift and roll, and he's on his back. Helpless, finish him. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Now you've seen me take the low reputation growl wedge out for a whirl in battle, why don't you do the same? I've put it in the exhibition. D underscore I space low rep growl. Try it out yourself. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I'll leave you with this parting advice for playing it. Lift them, flip them, finish them while they're helpless. Your radar detector will help you get from being swamped in return, but only if you look at the map. <laughs>